1969, Spencer W. Kimball, an apostle at the time, and later the prophet and president of the LDS Church, published a book called The Miracle of Forgiveness, a detailed compendium that outlined most possible sins that men could commit, and emphasizing that men and women were nothing before God as sinners who must repent and seek His grace constantly. The book outlined many sins, among them homosexuality, in a chapter called A Crime Against Nature. The chapter details many things that grew to be widely believed by church members, among them that frequent masturbation can cause homosexuality, and that homosexuality is a completely curable condition through repentance and confession. The book stated that if someone had not been cured, it was because they had not tried hard enough, and it calls homosexuals things like vile and abominations before God. The culture of the church in the 60s and 70s led to many members being excommunicated for being gay, members being sent to change therapy or electroshock therapy, and untold numbers of suicides for men and women who could not cure themselves and believed that God had cursed them. While in recent years the church has softened many of its stances on homosexuality, the miracle of forgiveness is still given out by many church leaders to struggling members and families still frequently reference the book, which has never been denounced by the church, leading families to believe that homosexuality is still a curable condition. While the book has not been canonized as scripture by church leaders, the church does teach that the words of prophets are the words of God, so members treat the book as scripture in many ways. There is also a controversial doctrine in the religion that states that prophets will never be allowed to lead men and women astray with their words. Yet, there have been many cases where church leaders have stated that prophets who spoke for God were actually just speaking as men and confusing doctrines, such as in the case of Brigham Young speaking on topics related to the African American members of the church. The church continues to broadcast its general conference messages every six months by satellite, and many struggling LGBT members tune in, hoping to hear church leaders speak toward them with kindness and understanding, and they are often met by painful words that frequently result in further suicides and increased depression. Among the many recent examples of church policy changes are the Proclamation to the Family, which states that gender is a divine characteristic and denies transgender members their very identities and a new doctrine stating that gay couples must be excommunicated if they are married, and their children are not allowed to be baptized in the church. These doctrines are devastating to many and have been going on for far too long. The miracle of forgiveness is but one of many policy examples within the Mormon church against LGBT people.